Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create a simple, simple YouTube intro like the, uh, the one that you see at the beginning of this tutorial. You know that one of my subscribers keep asking me, Hey, Jackie, how you create your, your intro and uh, can you teach me on that? Oh, okay. Actually, for many, many uh, recent tutorial on my YouTube channel, I didn't use any intro because, uh, because I think that now whenever you watch a tutorial and uh, five seconds or 10 seconds and then you, you have to watch the intro and that I think it's, it is annoying. Uh, by the way, if you are a new YouTuber and you want to build your brand and business or something like that, so creating an intro is very interesting things and you can easily create your intro right inside Filmora 10 uh, with no preset, no need to download anything, just go into Filmora 10 and select an opener or the title to use as an intro. This is very simple. By the way, if you want to have some preset, I will put the link to download uh, 10, 10 different uh, no copyright uh, intro templates that I got from the internet and also I check with my my YouTube channel I put them on my YouTube channel to see if any copyright strike for for them and no copyright okay so they are no copyrighted uh, intro template you can use for your video and you can download it uh, from my Google Drive and bring it uh, to your computer and then uh, put it into Filmora and customize a little bit you need to add your text and add your channel name and something like that to create the intro for your um, for for your channel Okay, let's go to Filmora. I will show you how to create exactly the intro that you see at the beginning of this tutorial. Okay, let's go. All right, so here's the, uh, the example timeline, the intro that um, uh, I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. I will share this project also in the folder that, uh, where you can download the intro template so that you can learn how to uh, do that in Filmora 10. Okay, so uh, we have here the music also. This is a free uh, no copyrighted music I downloaded from YouTube studio. Okay, and the second thing is the intro number two called no copyright. So this is a template that I got from the internet. I don't know. I don't know which program create this uh, template. By the way, it's okay. We can use it. Okay. And this one, uh, we have a title. So title number 24. Uh, I use title number 24 for this, you can see here, so this is uh, my channel name and after that I use an image of me, uh, choose an image of me uh, to pop up on the screen so that you recognize me, uh, recognize my, me on my channel and then later I use another default title to write the subscribe uh, subscribe text on the, on the screen, okay, and that's all and uh, here uh, we have some animation keyframe for the, the image and I also add um, drop, drop effect and uh, border effect, uh, image mask effect uh, to this image. Now let's delete everything, okay. Uh, delete one, delete everything. Now the first thing you need to do is to drag and drop this one, that is intro number two. Okay, on to the timeline. I will put it uh, put it at the track number one. Let's uh, run and drop it. Let's click here to view everything. So let's listen to it. I'm sorry. We need a music background music, right? Uh, I will select this one. My background music. Uh, run and drop it to put it down here first, and then uh, shorten the music first. Okay. So I'm going to trim trim it to shorten it to this this length okay so this is uh, 16 17 seconds so actually I just need a 10 second so I uh, will keep it at 10 second okay so I, I will trim down the, the the template to 10 second okay this one a few moments later Okay, and also I will trim the music to 10 seconds and also create a fade in for a uh, fade out for the music here. Okay, so let's listen to the, the template first. Okay, so the first thing I need to add to add my channel name, right? So I'm going to uh, select here. You see here, there's a rectangular pop, uh, pop up on the screen. So I think this is the right moment uh, for 
me to put my channel name so my viewer can uh, see oh who are who are you okay so i'm going to title and then uh, we need to select new concept here in the included folder we select new concept and then go to title again so we have 40 40 different uh, title template inside Fimura 10 we can use but the one I use for the, uh, this tutorial is this one a new title number 24 so just drag and drop it uh, down here okay at this uh, at this position and let's play it okay it's nice right uh, but I don't want to use this text uh, so I'm going to delete it to do that uh, I will go to advanced edit right click on the title box on the timeline and then go to advanced edit select that and here this is the your text here this is the line I can delete it by pressing this uh, chest icon delete so I don't have it, it anymore it is. all right and the second thing I want to change it to my channel name so here put your so I'm going to change to change this one to Jackie and this one to win all right so that is nice right and actually you can customize the text like the way you want for example you can add the uh, border lines and uh, you can change the forms and size and everything else here by the way I will keep it simple so just drag and drop it and change it to my channel name and we can play it now I think it's just the right animation effect for this one okay so let's click OK to go back to the timeline alright so we have the first channel name okay so uh, from here from this position I want to have an image of me uh, pop up on the screen so I'm going to use my image uh, here go back to the media so this is the image of me I just uh, used my own one I didn't take uh, more uh, photo now so uh, just right and drop it onto the timeline like this okay so the first action I want to do is to crop the image to my face okay to do that I just select it on on the timeline and then I go to crop crop tool here select crop then I'm um, at the ratio I'm going to select custom by doing that I can adjust this, uh, this rectangular freely okay just adjust it to my face like this okay I think it's uh, it's nice uh, let's click OK uh, I want to crop the image first because uh, when I add a keyframe uh, for the image uh, just uh, scale it uh, from 0 to 100 percent it will be center so at the center it will not uh, flipping around flipping around like this okay so that's why I, I crop the image first okay and this one is the first one and then uh, we need to add border and uh, image mask to this so we go to video effect here and then find the utility here and uh, the first one image mask uh, let's drag and drop it directly to the image so this one look fine for me and the next thing I want to add a border for this okay now it look nice by the way you can change the border size and the thickness if you want by double click on the image and go to video effect uh, like other things you can do in Filmora 10 but now it's okay so here uh, it uh, I want to create a fade in effect for my image so the first thing I want to add a keyframe for this one so select all, uh, select the image and then click on this button to add keyframe okay so the first at the first keyframe I want to reduce the opacity to zero at this one so will be zero and then move forward about uh, three frame or three frame forward and then reset the uh, the opacity so that's that will create the fade in effect for the image uh, let's straight it out and then I want to scale it down scale it down to the center of the screen okay so go about four frame or, or five frame or something like that and then we can adjust it later and then we can scale it down here with this slider all right 
like this. So it is in, in the center of the frame. So let's play it. Okay, so it is a little bit too fast. Now it's time to adjust the animation effect here. So I want to straight it out here and also this one. And at this keyframe, I think it's the too low because uh, whenever we play it until here, we see the light here. So I want to move it up a little bit. So uh, we are going to create another keyframe to move it up here. And then click on this uh, on the preview window and then move up. So let's play it uh, to see how the keyframe uh, work with the image. Okay, so at this position, I think it's too fast, so we can adjust it to make it a little bit slower, to move up slower. Then we see the subscribe uh, text, right? Uh, here you are. Okay, so at this point, uh, we should have the subscribe text appear here, and and let's extend the extend the image to the end of the, the uh, to the end of the video. Like this and at this position we can add a, a subscribe text so we go to title again and then uh, we go to title and now we we use a default title just drag and drop it uh, down here at this position and uh, now I'm going to double click on this title box to change it to subscribe all right so I'm going to change the, the, the phones uh, of this title railway black to the uh, the one that we use at the template uh, let's press enter so this one uh, and the size too big we change it to 60 have a 60 okay and then click on text type uh, text style number two to create a border a black border for this subscribe button and then we can uh, we can just uh, move it move it down a little bit uh, here Uh, one more okay I think it's still too big uh, we let's go with uh, 44 okay nice and also we can increase the text space here to fit with the square box okay I think it's perfect and uh, we can choose uh, an animation for this uh, so typewriter my favorite that's it right and then press this button now we can shorten the duration of the title box okay so let's review uh, let's review the intro that we have created Okay, so that is how how easily you can create a simple intro for your YouTube channel uh, with Filmora 10 and a little help of the preset. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.